Hello everyone, welcome back to the Java web application development course. I hope you are enjoying so far the concepts that we have learned over the previous two sections. We have learned about XML, which is a very important concept to understand in order to develop Java web applications. We also have learned about Apache Maven, which is a great tool that will facilitate the creation build and deployment of Java web application. Now we turn into the main topic of our course, which is servlet and Java server pages. Servlets and Java server pages are the main component of a Java web application. I hope you are excited and energized to begin this section. If not, I recommend you go ahead and grab your favorite coffee, chai, tea, or whatever helps you get energized and awake because this is the main topic of our course. So without any further delay, we will begin by giving a brief overview of servlets and JSP. So when we talk about a web application in general, we are talking about two different entities. We have on one hand a client which is operating on a certain machine and operating on the web browser and we have a web server so this client is trying to access a web application deployed in a certain web server so the way a client communicate with a server is via a mechanism called http http stands for hypertext transfer protocol and is design is a set of rules that govern how a client can communicate with a server. We will talk about HTTP more in details in the coming lectures. So when a client is trying to access this web application deployed in this server, usually the client is sending a HTTP request to the web application. So let's take a very common example, which is we all have a social media account, whether it is Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. Let's say we are trying to log into our Facebook or Twitter account. So we open our browser and we type in the address of the Facebook or Twitter application and we provide our login information, usually your email and password. So when you send this information to the Facebook or Twitter application, you are sending a HTTP request to this web application. Now the web application includes a component that will process this HTTP request for the client. And for a Java web application, this component is called a servlet. So the a servlet is a Java class designed to process a HTTP request. So the HTTP request will include the, in this case, login information of the client. And the servlet will read this information and will contact probably a database to retrieve the client or the user information. So the database will return the data that represent the client information and the servlet will take this data, will forward this request to another component called a Java server page, which is a JSP with the user data. And this JSP page along with the user data will be forwarded to the client in the form of a HTTP response object. So the HTTP response object will display the client information, in this case, the user information data on the client browser in the form of HTML. Now, what are, what are the differences between JSP and HTML? So as you will discover in the next coming lectures, JSP is just a scripting language that will include all the dynamic data that is 
that the dynamic data pertaining to this particular client. For instance, if client one named John logs in, you retrieve John's information, you want to display John's information. So if a, another client named Muhammadu logs in, you want to retrieve Muhammadu's information and display Muhammadu's information. So the data is not fixed, but it is dynamic according to whichever client log, logs in to the web application. And the dynamic part of the data is what JSP will handle, what Java server pages will handle. So this is in a nutshell how servlets and JSP fits into a communication between a client and a web server. So in the next lecture we will look at into details how a servlet processes a HTTP request. So see you next time in the next lecture.